Hi, I'm Lise Colucci, one of the life coaches at Queen Being. Today I have a special guest, Nicole, who was one of the members of the Trauma Bond Group Coaching last time we had sessions. She would like to share her experience and give you guys all some hope and validation for what you might be experiencing right now yourself. So we'll just go over to Nicole, and if that sounds good, hit subscribe and let's go. Nicole was a participant in the Trauma Bond Group last session, and she had a few things she wanted to say to everybody out there who might be wondering what it's about or how it can help you. Hi, Nicole. Hi. Um, well, I think, I think what's really important to grasp here is that it, this information is overwhelming. Um, it, it, is, it is something that you have never experienced before um, with, I guess, with a title, you know, so, so we, we have experienced this and, and, and we, we go through these things with these narcissists, but we never have a actual title for it. So just getting that information and just being able to call it for what it is, is overwhelming in itself. And then on top of that, going into, to span and seeing Everyone else is going through the same thing you're going through, maybe at different levels, but they can always relate because either they've been there or they're going through it at that same time. And so it can be, it can be a little disheartening, a little confusing, frustrating, because you don't know if you're doing the right thing. You don't know if you're, um, you know, getting, getting through, doing the right process, starting where you need to start to, to begin to heal. If you even want to heal, if you even want to get out of the relationship, you, you don't know what you're doing. I mean, and it's so, it's so natural. So first of all, don't, don't judge yourself. Um, be kind to yourself. Know that wherever you're at in your process of discovery or of actually getting a, a plan together to leave or uh, after you've left, where, wherever you're at in your, your process is, is your process. It's perfectly fine. So what I, what I really want to emphasize here is get coaching, get with somebody who, who, who understands the complete process from A to Z. When you backtrack, when you backslide, if that ever happens to you, because if it doesn't, you're like a unicorn, right? Um, <laughs> but if you don't be hard on yourself. So if, if you go backwards, if you, if you slip and you break no contact or mm -hmm. um, just know that coaches are relatable, like, like least you, you know, you know, my heart, you know what I want to do. You know, my desires, you know, that I want to get past this. Right. But when I backslide, you've never said to me, Oh, well, you shouldn't have broken no contact. It has never been that kind of situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have people in our groups that are still with these, these individuals. They're still with the narcissist, right? And, and as long as you're talking about it, you're growing. Mm -hmm. As long as you recognize that there's problems, you're growing. But it has been imperative. It has been integral, pivotal for me to have a place where I can go and I can speak to someone who's license who who understands what I'm going through mm. and who can who can give me the backstory because you know like I, I need to know facts I, I'm very analytical so I need to know why this is happening to me you know right. mm -hmm. is it a hormonal thing or is it you know how, how do they how do they create this bond this trauma bond or you know um how why do I feel upset some days or some days I'm angry or some days I'm happy. Like everything's okay to, you feel, you know, when I'm in coaching and I know I have a place to go to, I don't mm -hmm. feel desperate. I don't feel as desperate to need to reach out to that person to, to help get that fix, right. To help feel better because I'll go right to you. I'll go right to the group and, and you'll say, okay, why do you feel this way? why, why are you uh, like, let's talk this through. 
it's very much like any other addiction. It's very much like it. And it is an addiction, but it's not our fault. Right. And it's something that you have to actively work at because you can leave this particular situation you're in Mm -hmm. and go right into the next situation, right into the next narcissist's hands. Because you don't, if you don't apply this to an everyday, your everyday life, Mm -hmm. you'll you'll fail. You know, you'll fail. You'll find yourself, and not maybe not fail, but because I don't like to use negative words because this is such a hard situation. So I feel like even when you backslide, you're not failing. You're human, right? You know, and but but I think that with this coaching, I have been able to and and with my own studying because again, you have to actively work at this. I can't expect you to save me right. from this. Right. You know, but I can expect that when I go and I do my own research and I can come back to you and say, Hey, this is what I found. You can say, Oh, well, let's look at it like this. Or you'll say exactly right on point. Um, so, so it's, uh, it's, it's so important. And, and that's why like, I'm always in, in group chat and I'm always, um, active in span is because whenever I see someone new coming in and they're just as bewildered and, and overwhelmed and anxiety ridden as I was the very first couple of weeks, I just, I have to tell them, Hey, please reach out to me and I'll explain coaching. You know, please reach out to the coaches. Um, there's help here. So that's what makes this group so important Right, is that we have you guys to, to guide us you know, there's even, uh, and you know, the admins who, who help with legal counsel, you know, um, or, or, or can help through not legal counsel, but through divorce, right. You know, issues mm-hmm. and things that I thank God I dodged a bullet. I didn't have <laughs> to go there. Right? Right. Exactly. But, but, but there are people who, who have to get out. And so, you know, I say I say this to say it is important that I I wanted to to speak to to everyone going through this the beginning stages the end stages you know what what wherever they are in their recovery getting help starts by just simply like you can come into the the group peace sessions and just listen you don't even have to speak. You know, I find that just listening sometimes is like, I don't even have to tell my story because the next person that I'm in group with is going to say exactly how I feel anyway. Exactly. <laughs> you know, they're going to describe my, my experience with my ex exactly to the T as their experience mm-hmm. because the game doesn't change. It's, it's forever evolving. Right. And it's it's just the same game played over and over. It's like a it's like one of those mouse wheels, right? Mm-hmm. And um, and so, but because of the coaching, I've been able to realize I need to set boundaries. I can see the word salad when when the word salad comes. I can see the gaslighting when it comes, and those are moments of small, small, small victories even if you're still in the relationship with that narcissist, because you know, you know, you can think back and say, well, he's told me that that's perfectly normal when I feel all discombobulated after I try to express myself because right. they're really good at that. Mm-hmm. And you, you know, you can't beat them at their game, but you can educate yourself and you can get out and there is hope. And it's all because you reached out and you said, Hey, I need some help to understand this. I need help from someone who knows the beginning, the middle and the end process. It sounds like you had the experience of coming in really overwhelmed and with a lot of knowledge already, but also so full of knowledge, maybe you were overwhelmed by it. And that through, through the month of, of our group, it sort of pulled it apart piece by piece so that you could look at the parts that were really bothering you. And then at the end, you're feeling, what are you feeling at the end? Like as we, as we move into the next group or don't, whichever, you know, a person chooses, what are you feeling from I, be- between beginning and end? Me personally, I felt so desperate at the beginning. I felt desperation. I felt like no one understood me. 
I felt like maybe it's me, maybe I'm the crazy one. Mm -hmm. I felt, I felt like I couldn't see a future. I couldn't see the light at the end of this. I thought I would just struggle with this forever. This would be, I would be marked Mm -hmm. as a victim forever. Mm -hmm. Right. But going into the next stage of this, of this group, Mm -hmm. I feel like I have a better understanding of I may be going through this now, Mm -hmm. but I'm taking steps day by day to figure out how I can break free of this cycle. And so just to know that I have the tools, my tools is, is, you know, going into the academy and, and using those, those self-help sheets and journaling and then coming back and cross-referencing with other people in my situation and, mm-hmm. and, you know, in group, right. Uh, you feel like you have, you, you find a little piece of worth again. You feel like you have a little tiny voice again and it just keeps growing and getting stronger. And until finally you're like, enough is enough. And then a whole nother process happens. Right. So, so that's why I don't think just going through trauma bonding class was enough for me. It just, it's not going to be enough for me because me personally, I need to also figure out how to love myself. Exactly. That's the next step. Yep. And, and and that's because, you know, you, you lose your sense of self. So I I may have loved myself Mm -hmm. in the past, but that you keep hearing these horrible things. You keep feeling horrible long Mm -hmm. enough. You start to, you start to believe it. So that's why you need to take your power back. And that's why in, in my next step, which I hope to do another, another review, um, my next step is to do the, the, the self-healing and self-care. Mm-hmm. And that's important because you forget all about yourself, especially if you're codependent, right? If you have all of the, the cocktail, right? You're codependent, you're, you're, you're in a narcissistic, narcissistic relationship, you know, and, and you have low self-esteem at this point, it's the perfect, it's the perfect storm. So that's why it's so important to take a moment and love yourself. And, and what's so cool about this whole thing is I don't even have to leave my house. Right. Yeah, I know that not, too. Yeah. I know sounds crazy, but I could be sitting here in my pajama pants and you would never know, but I'm exactly. healing at the same time. Mm-hmm. Right. And I don't have to, get all dressed up and go to someone's uncomfortable office when I can sit in my big comfy chair right. and I can feel comfortable in my own surroundings. And I think that's what's so important is that we need to have, we need to have territory of our own. You know, we need to mark our own territory during this process because remember everything was about them. Right. So we weren't allowed to, to have a safe, secure space. Right. So, Mm -hmm. so in this healing what's really been beneficial for me is coming to group at a time that I choose coming to group, being able to be in my own home, not being judged because I'm sitting here in a, in a t-shirt, you know, or Mm -hmm. my workout clothes or what have you. But, and then the relationships you build, like not just with, not just with the other people that are in your group, but with you, with, with the coaches. Like, right. I can't tell you how, how grateful I am to, to know there's someone out there that believes in me, that, that can see me in a better light than I can see myself sometimes. And Don't make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to. Oh, I know. It's awesome. It but, sounds like you went from, like, from desperation to hope, which is exactly oh, yeah. the hope for anyone that's going through this. But you, you don't know that that's what's going to happen. Like, I really right. thought that I was messed up for life. I really right. did. I thought it was my fault. I thought it's because I'm way too emotional. I'm way too, you know, needy. I've got codependency issues. Like, I can self-diagnose myself. Until I started listening to everyone else, until I heard your story, until I heard my other friend's story. And I'm like, are we dating the same person? But we're on halfway across the other side of the country. How, how did you date the same person as I did? You know, so, so I know that I'm not alone. And I think that's where the hope comes from. And I think, and you know, what's really nice is, is being in, in class 
you know, you, you ask some really tough questions. You do. You ask us to really dig deep, but you do it in a way where it's not um, confrontational. It's not like it's, hey, answer this now. It's more like when you're ready, tell me if you can deal with this. Let's talk about this when you're ready. And mm -hmm. so it's comforting, but at the same time, you hold us accountable, you know, and you always look for us. You always check and make sure if we're there, you know, why we're not there. If, you know, and, and for you to be as selfless as you are, like, what I really thought was kind of like, wow, like, this is really getting your, your bang for your buck, per se, is the chats, the personal chats. I mean, that's like 24-7. I just see everyone else is in the same boat as I am. I see patients flying around, and I'm like, oh, it's not just me. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, that I'm not alone is the feeling. And to know that after you get ask this and you heal and you heal the right way because you know that's why they say when you have a broken arm go get a cast because you don't want it to heal on its own because it's going to heal wrong so right. right now i'm in the casting stage right now i'm putting that cast over my my soul my heart so i can heal it the right way because there's going to be a need for it down the line this isn't my end all or my tell all right and that's what people need to understand is that they make you believe that you'll never, ever, ever find happiness or love anywhere else. And that doesn't necessarily mean a relationship. It could be friendships. It could be rekindling with family members because sometimes they're isolated from family. Mm -hmm. You know, this, there's it could be so, so many ways. More importantly, it's yourself, right? And that's, that's what you have to heal. You have to heal. You have to put that cast over your heart and your soul to heal it the right way. And that's by self-love, self-care, setting up boundaries, which is my next class, which I'm really this looking forward exciting, to. Because right? yes. I have no idea how to set up boundaries. This has been such a blessing to me to have, mm -hmm. um, to have this because I've been in other groups pertaining to this particular subject matter, but it's not moderated well. And I'm not trying to bash anyone, but it's not moderated well. And there's no additional follow-up. There's no additional recourse. Like, hey, you can go and talk to this person about divorce. You can talk to Lise about trauma bonds. You can talk to Angie about, you know, a one-on-one -on -one session if you need to. Like, you guys are so active and it's so important. And that's why I will, t I will sing it till I'm blue in the face. Group is amazing. And it helps in so many ways. Things that you never even thought you needed to fix, you're, you're just taking mental notes. You're checking it off. Yep, got to fix that. Yep, Ooh, that's a good one. And so that's why I want to see what this process is like over the next few classes because, you know, self-care is not going to be my final class, you know. Mm -hmm. Who knows where I'll end up. I really enjoy this process because if, if I didn't start with trauma bonds, I would have felt like I couldn't jump into self-care for trauma right. bonds. Well, I like and what you just said there, how you're enjoying the process. I think that for me is a, um, a really important part. I don't want people to feel like they're in coaching and they're dreading it or that it's, um, or that looking at their own issues, the pain is overriding any joy that you get out of it. Because oh, no. at a certain point, it gets interesting and it gets fun. The beginning is really hard of any group. You know, every time you start over, it's like, oh, here we are. You know, but um, my, my whole hope is that by midway through, it's actually interesting and getting fun and you're experiencing yourself in a different way. So it sounds like that has been effective for you in that regard. And that's exciting. Yes. But the, the thing is, is that I want everyone to know, and it's just it's so important, you're not alone. Like they isolate us. They make us feel mm -hmm. completely alone. Like no one will love us, but you are loved by so many people and not even in span, your family, your coaching, but you start to become aware of people that just look for you. People like I had a, I had a, a couple of technicians reach out to me uh, at work and just say, Hey, we miss you. Hey, are you okay? I haven't talked to you. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't yeah, really. You open up. 
you're my cobalt. You open up the, it's a, it, you, you open up the part that the narcissist locked you down on. And if you it's like, it's like a blind open in a positive, yeah, and if you can be in a positive way where you're still working on your your own part of it and you're learning self care and you're learning self love, then the people that come aren't necessarily the toxic ones. That's actually people that actually care. It's interesting. Yeah. And you start to decipher the, the two. You start right. to you start to see the difference. Um, they dim your light and and in group you can be yourself you can cry i remember the first class that we had i you know i'm sure you remember too but i couldn't even look at you in your face me and and other lady that was in our class um i was just sobbing i was just i was just sobbing and it was it was because i finally found someone who understood me that i didn't ha i wasn't crazy so i knew that just being there just on video chat just knowing that there was someone else giving me that attention, validating the fact that I wasn't crazy and I'm not alone was enough to just let it out. And I have a pretty decent support structure at home. Like I've got some really good folks that love me, but you can't see past the blinders that these people, these horrid people put onto you. And, and that's why, group is so important because you take those blinders off first session you sit up oh, no girl we're taking those off <laughs> and, and you said look we're going to explain this to you so you understand because i'm very uh facts driven very you know research driven so you mm -hmm. said okay i see that in you. so let me tell you about the hormonal effects that you're experiencing when you're experiencing the trauma bond right. so then i was like oh this gives me something to hold on to that I can take from this one session a week and I can research until our following session. And so then you start looking forward, right, to, to meeting again because now you want to share what you've learned. Right. So again, it's very active learning, but without group, I wouldn't be this far along. I wouldn't be able to say, you know what, Nicole, there, even if you backslide, don't be mad at yourself. I'm very hard on myself. But just know every time you do, you're getting stronger, yeah. right? Every time that you do something for yourself to improve you, to love on you, because you are an amazing person, you are healing. And so that's why I, I, I hope the next video is, is me speaking on a whole nother level, saying how much I've learned about myself, saying how much I've healed. Mm -hmm. um, that's my goal because I look at healing as a goal. Right. It's something that I actively have to do. But I'm going to take it one step further and I want to heal all of the pain that I've caused myself, not just in this last relationship. But it well, Nicole, I want to say that that big smile on your face I keep seeing through this interview, this um, video is super exciting. And I love you to pieces. You are, you're an amazing person. And I'm so grateful that you came into group because you're just a light. And I don't, I'm, I'm hoping that by the end of the next group, you will see that light. You'll see more. Trying. more. You, yeah, because you, you really are. Thank you. And, and you know the doors that you've opened for me, just, just by being there with other coaching that I've experienced, right? Uh -huh. You don't have that kind of interaction. I could literally send a message in chat and it gets answered, but it's not even the day that we're meeting. Do you know how amazing that is? To feel that supported 24 seven around the clock. And especially the trauma bond group, I try to really give that there because that's a place where people are super vulnerable. They're super alone. They're very scared. They're going, their emotions are, they're peaking and dumping. Their emotions are all over the place. And, and the aim is to break those trauma bonds. And so having an anchor of a coach that can, you know, I try to step in and, be there as much as I can, at least give a little bit of something, you know, to reply to people for that very reason, because I feel like, um, especially in that time, that's very critical for people to have someone oh. to anchor to in something that they can, you know, because you guys actually supported each other really well. You really mm -hmm. did. I mean, I didn't, I didn't have to come in a lot, you know, because you guys were right there supporting each other. It was only if I saw everybody falling down that I was like, well, hello, <laughs> you know, they need to come in here. But really you 
we're lifting each other up. And that's also a really, from watching it from my perspective, watching you guys build a sort of a team to help each other through that part, to help each other through a discard or to help each other actually through leaving a narcissist or, you know, each of you on your own path. Um, it was really lovely to watch that support and to see the changes and the strength being built in each of you. Oh, it's so funny. Like I told you, me and that other lady that she's a friend of mine now, you know, she's like, I love her death. Right. So, so you know who I'm about, but we both came in and we looked at each other and we just first class waterworks, right? First group just couldn't stop crying. And I think, <laughs> I think that's what kind of like triggered us to be like, okay, well, there's something to this. We all have the same story. Right. Right. So thank right. you for everything. Thank you, you. You don't understand. I'm so grateful. Like I look forward to waking up in the mornings and checking on everyone and reading people's posts when, you know, I finally was able to sleep at night. I don't have to take sleep meds, right? Nice. I'm able to yeah. just go to sleep at night because I know there's people that care for me in the morning. Right. And, and that is alone, you know, by itself. So we'll see what happens next class. <laughs> we'll see. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. I appreciate you very much. You too. You too. I want to thank Nicole for coming on with her honest and amazing self and for everything that she said. She is, she's an amazing person and I want to thank her for sharing herself with all of you and with, my, and with me in this process and this journey of hers. I also want, hope that that helped clear up what coaching might be like for someone and if you are interested in joining the Trauma Bond Group Coaching, it starts this week on Thursdays, 4.30 or 6 p.m. Pacific. They're an hour long video sessions and I will put information in the link below. See you next time.